Valentine's Day. A day full of love, cards, flowers, and all things romantic. Aww. You know what? Let me ruin that. Let me ruin that for you. If you're like me, then Valentine's Day has this amazing way of reminding you of how single you are. With all the marketing and lovey-dovey couples who exaggerate their love for each other on social media and display their love for each other like they're the only ones in the room. Well, newsflash, you're not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have freaked out like that. I'm just going to eat some chocolate and uh, get over it. My single friend, hopefully this makes you feel better too. So pretty much like every holiday, we got some pagan roots going on. Between the 13th and 15th of February, the Feast of Lupercalia was celebrated by the Romans. How did they celebrate, you ask? Well, basically, the men would sacrifice dogs and goats, use the hides to make whips, and then run through the streets naked and drunk, whipping the women they would come across. Yeah. And some of the women would purposefully put themselves in front of the men to be whipped because they believed it made them more fertile. Sounds logical, right? Makes sense. The young men would then randomly draw names of the women, and they would be paired up for the rest of the celebration. And possible marriages could take place if uh, the chemistry was there. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it wasn't, then, you know, they just uh, broke up. How romantic. How romantic. So after hundreds and hundreds of years of this going on, the church finally steps in, and as it likes to do, puts a little church of sprinkles all over it. Sprinkles. Church of sprinkles. And after banning the celebration, they offer an alternative to the festivities. How nice of them. And Pope Galatius, Galatius, Pope Galatius, Pope G. Let's just call him Pope G. Pope G declares February 14th as a day in which we celebrate and feast in honor of St. Valentine. Now who's St. Valentine? Well, that's a very good question, and even the Catholic Church isn't quite sure of who this guy is specifically. But there's three St. Valentines that stick out, and uh... It kind of ends badly for all of them. One was killed for not giving up his faith in Africa. One was beheaded. <laughs> and then the other one married couples illegally. You see, the emperor at the time believed that single soldiers were more loyal and that they were better fighters because they didn't have to worry about going home and being with their wives. But you see, St. Valentine was a straight up rebel and he believed in this little thing called Twu Wove. Twu Wove. And so he would marry the soldiers anyway. He was then imprisoned for his actions, and while in prison, he fell in love with the warden's daughter. And right before he was about to be decapitated, he sent this love letter to her. That lucky girl. Mm. And signed it, wait for it, your valentine. You seeing the connection here yet? So when you're giving your card signed your valentine, you're pretty much, I guess, representing a lovesick prisoner who was sentenced to death. But he believed in true love, so I guess it's romantic that way. Yeah. But pretty much all of this is to say, when you're giving those cards and the chocolates and the flowers to your special someone, please, please don't forget all the puppies that were slaughtered and all the heads that were loosened to give you the right to celebrate this special day. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day, my friend. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, please leave a comment down below and give a thumbs up, and let me know if I completely ruined Valentine's for you. And if you're single, let me know if I made it a whole lot better, because I know it made me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, if you want to give me the best Valentine's present ever, subscribe, please. Subscribe, and I'll be giving you some more videos. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I spit myself. Ow. Ow! I seriously just bit myself. That wasn't even scripted, but that was that was funny. All right, bye. Ugh. Church is sprinkle.